A bright red 68 fastback with a rich history coming at you. Buy a 1968 Mustang, get all the chicks. At least, that's what Ford promised with their 1968 advertising campaign, claiming that only Mustang makes it happen. And in one ad, they tell a story of a cat named Sidney who ordered up a custom-tailored 68 Fastback in bright red, only to become a lifeguard and save three bathing beauties from the perils of the beach. Kind of a tall tale, but it had to be true to be in an ad, right? Well, it turns out old Sydney's ride looks a lot like our feature car from the Brothers Collection. Part of the fun of owning a classic muscle car like this is learning about the history. We know that this car was built on June 16th of 1968, and it's got paperwork that lists the name of every person that has ever owned it up until today. Pretty cool stuff. Ford offered the 1968 Mustang in several different body styles and performance levels, ranging from a leisurely six-cylinder coupe and convertible on up to high-powered fastbacks like this one. And although the top engine for 68 was a 428 Cobra jet boasting 335 horsepower, this one is powered by the new for 68 302. The 302 is smaller and less powerful at 230 horsepower, but Mustangs are not very heavy cars, so many people appreciate the more nimble handling of the lighter small block versions. The 302 was loaded with 10 to 1 pistons and a hydraulic lifter valve train, and it was the highest output of the small block Windsor V8s. Previously, the 271 horsepower K-Code engine held that honor, but the new 302 promised more power and was a bit more driver friendly with an automatic choke and self-adjusting valves, but still provided 310 pound-feet of torque. The block was similar to the 289, but was treated to a larger bore on the same stroke to arrive at the 302 cubic inch displacement. This 302 is hooked to a C4 automatic transmission and spins the original rear differential. It's not as fast as the Cobra Jet 428, but it holds its own on the street. It's always a bonus to know the history of a classic car, and in this case, the Mustang's roots are well documented. The Candy Apple Red Fastback was born on Tuesday, July 16, 1968, at the San Jose Mustang plant in California. The car has had a few owners since then, but they are all known and the transaction dates are all recorded. It retains all of its original sheet metal and numbers matching driveline, but the car underwent a faithful restoration to make it appear new again. The valve covers and air cleaner were changed in favor of some period correct performance parts. But overall, the car looks very much like the day it was built. Slipping behind the wheel, the fastback reveals itself to be bigger on the inside than it looks, lending a bit of practicality to the slick styling of the original pony car. The two plus two designation implies you can fit two people in the front as well as two passengers in the back, assuming they're not plus size themselves as there isn't much headroom back there. But old Sidney could carry his three new friends in the car in relative comfort. Many 68s were lined with wood grain trim, but this one is sportier black and red with a big speedo on the left and a combination gauge on the right. Three smaller gauges line the top of the panel, including oil pressure, a time gauge in the middle, and temperature on the right. A Philco AM radio plays old Sydney's favorite love songs, and we dig the little garage door style storage compartment behind the automatic shifter and the light up gear indicator. Fastback Mustangs are some of the most stylish cars ever built, and they have cool details all over the place. The hood vents hide turn signal indicators, and the quarter panel covers and pillar louvers are speedy looking. It's a good looking car overall, and we bet the driver would make new friends everywhere the car goes. Just like Sydney. It might not be the most powerful or the fastest Mustang in the Brothers Collection, but it's still fun to drive. We hope you enjoyed hanging out with us on this episode of Muscle Car of the Week, and we'll see you next time with another cool car from the Brothers Collection.